Hello and welcome. My name is Deborah Rethwin Arbenlow and I am a blogger and photographer for Second Life. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Layer Style tool in Photoshop to create realistic looking drop shadows in two styles. I'm also going to show you how to create a new layer from your layer style so that you can further edit any kind of layer style that you have. I'm going to work on two photos to show you the two different ways of doing this. There are actually probably more than two ways, but I'm going to show you two specific ways of making drop shadows. So here I have a plain green screen photo. I haven't really edited it, um, but it's just two layers. We have the first layer, which is the green screen photo, and the second layer, which is the background, which is just a plain wall background. So we're going to edit the first layer by double clicking it. It brings up the layer style menu. We want to select drop shadow and go to the drop shadow menu by clicking the drop shadow. You can see that it's created this really close to my skin shadow. We want to spread that out a little bit because we want it to be a little more feathered looking, softer edges. So we're going to increase the size. So you want to increase the size until it sort of looks like you've got a bit of a halo of shadow around you. I've increased mine to 114 pixels, but it will depend on the size of your photo how big you go. But you want to have this sort of basic effect. And if you want to have it a little bit of a tighter shadow, you can even reduce it a little bit. But you should have some sort of a faint shadow halo going on. Now, you can actually pull from this menu, you can use your mouse to pull your shadow out. And that's all good and well, but if you do a different method, you can actually edit the shadow independently. So let's click OK. And then we want to go here to where it says Drop Shadow. It's the layer effect name. We're going to right click that, and then we're going to go to Create a Layer. Create Layer, right here. So we'll click Create Layer and it creates this new layer here, which is just our drop shadow by itself. This means that we can edit this however we want. We can resize it, we can erase parts of it, we can do anything to this layer. It's a whole new fancy layer. So you can move this as much as you want to create your shadow effect. So now it kind of looks like I have a light projector going back behind me to create this cool shadow effect. And no matter, and any, anything that you want to do to this layer, you can. So if you want to put a little smiley face here, you can do that. <laughs> anyway, it's a e really easy, this is something very simple to do to create drop shadows. And since you've created this layer, you can do lots of different um, techniques. You can transform it, control T, you can shrink it, increase it, you can move it, you can do all sorts of things. But that's just a basic projector shadow. Now to something a little bit more difficult. We're going to go to a different type of photo. So this is a unedited version of a photo that I did a couple weeks ago. This is a um, sort of typical blurry background kind of photo. I'm going to create a drop shadow that's on the ground for this photo. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to double click the layer and it will bring up the layer style menu. I'm going to click drop shadow click that menu, increase my size for my to get that shadowy halo looking thing. I'll click OK. Then I'm going to create a layer. So I'll go to my drop shadow, right click, create layer. Now I have a new layer that I would like to edit. So you can see this layer here. I am going to edit this layer with transforming. I'm going to zoom out so you can see better. I'm going to edit this layer by transforming it. I'm going to control T, transform, and now I'm transforming my shadow. Remember I have my shadow layer selected. Then I'm going to hold control, which will allow me to transform at an angle. So I'm pulling down my shadow to the ground. And you can pull both corners. Now it is creating a flat effect of a shadow. I want to have my shadow connected to one of my feet. Sort of like in Peter Pan, how he tries to connect his shadow with soap to his feet. So we want to connect our shadow to one of our feet. 
so that it looks like it's projecting out. Maybe you want to increase by pulling up. Basically, you will just use your control and your uh, you will use your control key to do diagonal edits to sort of make it flat. And you can use no control and edit big or smaller and things like that. So now I have this layer that I'm connecting to my foot down here that's invis that you can't see on the screen. I'm going to click OK. So now I have a layer. It's a little bit severe though. I'm going to reduce the opacity on it so that it's a little bit less severe. And then even a step further, I could blur that to make it more soft. I'm going to use a lens blur. So let's go to Lens Blur. We go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. And then we're going to just click OK. With I have my radius set at 68, um, blade curvature at 74, rotation 171. I mean, basically, you can just try um, a lot of different methods of doing this. It's loading my, you can see here, my shadow. So you can choose what works for you, or you can just copy my settings if you like. So I'll just leave this here for a second so you can see them. And you could pause the video on the settings and then copy them if you wanted. So you can see how this blurs my, my shadow. So I'm going to click OK. Now you see how that's blurred it. Let's go a, one step back, before, after. This is especially useful if you're using a blurred background uh, behind you because then it will blend into the blurred effect of the background and you can play with your opacity um, for your layer here's your layer here's your opacity you can play with your opacity moving it down moving it up until it looks natural to you so now I have this cool shadow effect laying at my feet so it looks like the Sun is reflecting on my background it sort of gives your background which is flat a 3d effect so there's two methods that I've showed you then. There is the projector on the wall and projector on the floor. So using the control, uh, control T for transform and then holding control as you hold the sides of your shadow, holding, oh, I used the wrong thing, holding control and then moving your shadow to do angled designs. It will take a little getting used to if you haven't done this method before, but it's really not too difficult to do. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. If you would like to see any other kinds of videos, you can leave them with me um, in the comments or send me a message on Plurk or on Second Life or on Flickr. All over the place, there are links in my channel. You can uh, get to me through them. So that is that. That is creating cool drop shadow effects with your layer styles. If you want to uh, create other kinds of effects, you can also use the layer style, um, create a layer to edit other effects, but we will do that in another tutorial. Thank you, and I'll catch you next time.